Over the next few moments, I want to share with you some post-feedback actions to take. The first is to notice your thinking when you leave that feedback session. So often our inner critics take over and we can really judge ourselves and shame ourselves, especially where things didn't go right. This is where I notice my thinking, I step in and I don't believe those thoughts. Instead, I flip the script. I tell myself that I had the courage to face this critical feedback and that growth and learning require courage. The second is self-reflection, which involves taking time out to consider how the feedback aligns with your perceptions and goals, where you focus on specific instances mentioned. In this process, you notice any repeating patterns or themes in your behavior or actions that were mentioned. These are those patterns that no longer serve you, and this helps reinforce your focus to make the changes where necessary. This leads to the third post-feedback step, identifying actionable points where you note specific actions you can take based on the feedback. For example, identifying the slides in your presentation that need more detail and doing some more research to include this detail. Now you develop your action plan. This is where you set specific goals or timelines for your actionable points. Also remember to follow up. Keep the lines of communication open with the person who provided the feedback and follow up with them periodically to update them on your progress and to solicit additional feedback if needed. What is important is to also monitor your own progress for yourself. Be honest with yourself about the areas where you're making progress and where you still may need to improve. And lastly, and most importantly, don't forget to celebrate your own successes, even if others don't see it. So until we chat again, take care and stay aware.